The Pirate's Treasure Chapter 1 The Discovery On a distant beach, the sun cast long shadows as the waves gently lapped at the shore. Axel, Lara, and Max were exploring the coastline, their laughter mingling with the soothing sound of the ocean. They were searching for shells and interesting rocks, each discovery adding to their growing collection. The trio was enjoying a perfect day of adventure when Max's foot struck something hard beneath the sand. Curiosity peaked, he knelt down and began to dig, the grains of sand slipping through his fingers. To his amazement, he unearthed a weathered wooden chest, its surface covered in barnacles and its hinges rusted with age. Guys, come look at this! Max called out, his voice filled with excitement. Axel and Lara hurried over, their eyes widening as they saw the chest. With eager hands, they pried it open, the wood creaking in protest. Inside, they found an ancient, tattered map. The edges were frayed, and the parchment felt fragile in their hands. Lara carefully spread it out on a nearby rock, and they all leaned in to examine it. The map was filled with mysterious symbols and intricate drawings, hinting at a long-forgotten past. The most intriguing part was a large red X marking a spot deep in the jungle. Axel's eyes sparkled with excitement. He was the most adventurous of the trio and loved the idea of a quest. This must be a treasure map, he exclaimed, unable to contain his enthusiasm. Lara and Max exchanged looks of wonder and excitement, the thrill of discovery coursing through them. They knew that this was the beginning of a grand adventure, one that would test their courage and ingenuity. With their hearts set on the promise of hidden treasure, they agreed to follow the map, unaware of the challenges that lay ahead. And with that, their thrilling quest began. Chapter 2 The Journey Equipped with backpacks filled with supplies, Axel, Lara, and Max set off into the dense jungle. Their excitement from discovering the map had not waned, but the reality of their journey quickly set in. The path was treacherous, with thick vines and underbrush slowing their progress. Each step was a struggle as they pushed through the dense foliage, the humid air making every movement exhausting. Axel led the way clutching the map and using its cryptic clues to navigate. Lara kept a close eye on their surroundings, her keen sense of observation helping them avoid natural dangers like quicksand and venomous snakes that lurked in the shadows. Max, ever the strong and dependable one, helped to clear the path and carried the heavier gear. The jungle was alive with the sounds of exotic birds and insects but the trio stayed focused on their goal. After days of arduous travel, marked by sweltering days and mosquito-filled nights, they finally reached the location indicated by the Red X. They stood before a magnificent waterfall, its roaring waters creating a curtain of mist. According to the map, the entrance to the treasure's hiding place was somewhere behind it. They cautiously optimistically made their way around the slick rocks toward the waterfall's base. There was a secret entrance to a cave, hidden from view. The interior's damp, cold air offered a sharp contrast to the intense heat outdoors. The atmosphere was made more ominous by the sound of dripping water resonating all around them. They looked at one other determinately, taking a big breath. This is it. Axel muttered, a little echo in his voice. Entering with a mixture of excitement and fear in their hearts, they were prepared to confront any obstacles in their pursuit of the pirate's loot. Chapter 3 The Haunted Cave Inside the cave, the friends were immediately met with an eerie sight. Ghostly figures of old pirates floated in the air 
their translucent forms shimmering in the dim light cast by the glow of bioluminescent fungi on the cave walls. The air was thick with the scent of salt and decay, a reminder of the pirates' long-forgotten past. A chill ran down their spines, but Axel, though apprehensive, took the lead. We have to be brave and move forward, he urged, his voice steady but soft. Lara and Max nodded, drawing strength from his determination. The ghostly pirates seemed to be guarding the path, their hollow eyes watching the intruders closely. As the trio moved deeper into the cave, the air grew colder, and the sense of foreboding intensified. Suddenly, they encountered their first trap, a series of pressure plates on the ground. Lara's keen eye for detail quickly spotted the danger. Watch your step, she warned, guiding them safely around the plates. Further along, they faced a swinging pendulum blade, which Max managed to stop with his strength, allowing them to pass. As they progressed, they realized that the ghosts weren't just passive watchers they were the keepers of ancient puzzles that needed solving to proceed. At one point, a ghostly pirate pointed to a wall covered in symbols. Axel studied the symbols and deciphered the riddle, which disarmed another trap. The deeper they went, the more challenging the puzzles became, each one a test of their wit and teamwork. Despite the dangers, the friends pressed on, their resolve unwavering. They soon understood that each solved puzzle brought them closer to the treasure, but also earned them the respect of the ghostly guardians. The spirits seemed less menacing with each step forward, as if acknowledging the friend's determination and courage. Chapter 4 The Treasure Revealed After solving a series of complex puzzles, the friends finally reached the heart of the cave. They entered a grand chamber, its vastness illuminated by a mysterious, ethereal glow emanating from crystals embedded in the walls. In the center of the chamber, resting on a stone pedestal, was the treasure chest they had been seeking. Gold coins, sparkling jewels, and precious artifacts filled it to the brim, casting a dazzling array of reflections across the room. As they approached the chest, the ghostly pirates who had been their silent companions throughout the journey began to materialize around them. The friends tensed, expecting an attack, but instead, the spectral figures nodded in approval. It was a gesture of respect and acknowledgement. Axel, Lara, and Max had proven their worth not only by reaching the treasure but also by demonstrating bravery, intelligence, and respect for the pirate's legacy. Axel stepped forward and opened the chest, his eyes widening at the sight of the immense wealth within. Lara and Max joined him, their faces lighting up with awe and excitement. They carefully began to gather their share of the treasure, each piece a testament to their hard-fought journey. As they did, a deep sense of accomplishment and unity washed over them. They had braved the unknown, solved intricate puzzles, and faced their fears together. The bond between them had grown stronger, forged in the trials and triumphs of their adventure. With the treasure secured, they prepared to leave the chamber. The ghostly pirates watched silently as the friends turned to make their way back through the cave. Slowly, the spectral figures began to fade into the shadows their duty fulfilled. The journey back through the jungle felt less daunting, their hearts buoyed by their success and the treasure they carried. As they emerged from the cave and into the sunlight, they knew that this adventure would remain a defining chapter in their lives, a testament to their courage and friendship.